this Christmas, um, I did my best to avoid traditional gifts for people in my family, especially my nephews. You know, they're, it's, they have so many toys and they have so many cool things. And I know that most of the things that get them excited now are video games and iPad games. And, and well, that's great and it's cool. I just, for some reason, it, it didn't give me as much joy to just get them another game. Especially when it's, they're still so, you know, young. There's still so many things you should be digging up in the dirt and building with blocks. And so I got them some Legos that are marketed towards girls because they're pink. So I got some pink Legos for my nephews. As well as I got them amaryllis bulbs. Yeah, they were not super excited about them. Shocker, right? A, a, a bulb, some of a... a a gardening um, exper experience and opportunity. I told them that that I'm like, like no, look, don't look at it as like a, a dirty uh, chunk of dirt. Think of it as a slow motion video game, and in like two weeks, it's gonna finally erupt, and you'll yeah, they were gone by that time. So to give you an example of what I'm talking about, this is uh, an amaryllis bulb, as kind of how it looked like when I gave them. So it's a, it's a, the bulb itself is like fist size, most of it, the three quarters under the, under the dirt. And then you can see this is some, some foliage and this part right here, this kind of thick thing, gloriously thick is the beginning of the, of the, the, the flower stem stalk that is incredibly phallic and powerful. And once it starts to grow, it will be like a week. It'll just go like every day you, you can see it grow. And that's why I thought it would be a cool thing to, to kind of tease them with the cool thing about gardening when you can see you know things growing i mean it's such a powerful experience to see nature happening in front of your eyes and since i'm not going to deliver a litter of kitties in front of many times soon i thought this was a, a close second um so my personal experience with gardening was i never did any gardening until or no memory of it. I mean, my, my grandparents were really into gardening. I remember, you know, kind of being forced to weed things and pick things, but it never really got much for me. I, when I was in college, on a whim at the Save-On, or I, I, I got a packet, you know, with that comes with the dirt and stuff of paper whites, also called Narcissus, which are these bulbs that just bloom very easily. And actually, I have some behind me. These beautiful things. These things have grown this much in about a week. So, shoot, they shoot up, and then they bust out these things which smell, oh, so good. Some people find them to be so fragrant that it actually becomes overpowering. I'm, oh, oh, give me one more second. Listen, I'm stopping to smell the flowers, okay? What? Don't. Okay, note to self, do not stop smelling the flowers to fight. Just stop and smell the f Never mind. Okay. So I got those in college, and I was like, seeing them grow and then bloom, like in the little window of my little dorm room, blew my mind. I was like, this is awesome, 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 awesome. When I graduated from college, went back to my parents' house and lived with them because, I mean, <laughs> that's what cool people do and took over their landscaping a little bit and did quite a bit of gardening. This was pre-internet for me, so I went to the library and got books on gardening um, and planted all sorts of stuff. But it was the bulbs that really brought me into the magic. And when I say magic, I'm not exaggerating because I view gardening as my introduction to spirituality. Because as I learned about gardening, and I learned about how things work, and how, like a bulb, for example, a bulb, when you buy it, it has all the energy that it needs to pop, to bloom and blossom. It just need, you just need to give, basically give it a clue, you know, put it out in light, give it a little bit of water, and it will go. It doesn't need much else because it's all there. Now here's the cool thing about bulbs. When a bulb, after it blooms, after those paper whites bloom, it'll start to get, you know, 
dry and, and the stalks will start to get not as pretty looking. And the temptation is to cut them off because we like to prune things away that are not perfect and perfect. But the way a bulb works is after it blooms, as it starts to dry up and get brown, the energy of that flower actually pulls back into that bulb. So if you chop it off, if you deny it the death process, it will not have what it needs to bloom the next year. To me, that was a revelation. That the way that the universe is constructed is that death is not this finite thing. It is a mandatory, important part of the cycle. And it is all cycles. And that the ideas that we put on ourselves culturally, that life is this start-end thing, is actually a, just a stunted version of the true picture, which is this, this constant, massive cycles of life, death, life, death, life, death, life, death, life, death. And gardening is like the most beautiful way that you can experience that without having to kill animals um, or other people. I don't suggest intentionally killing anything, even plants. I think that uh, one of the, the challenges for me now with my nephews is, is when, you know, as they, they do not have the concept of a plant as a living thing and so in, in the same way that I do. So as they like take scissors to some flowers, like, like living flowers, not cut flowers, I'm like, oh, wait, no, let, they, no let's be nice to, nice, flowers are our friends. And so the cool part of all of this is that I was sent a, a text photo and a text message from my brother um, a few days ago saying, oh my gosh, the amaryllis bulbs are blooming. The kids are going nuts. They love it. They wake up every morning. They're like running around. And so it's like, ah. Oh. I hope a little of that sticks with them and they recognize, one, the importance of patience, two, the magic of gardening, and three, trust Uncle John.